Hey guys, welcome back to All Unknown Law. This is a medical video lecture, Physiology. And today we're going to talk about the ventral spinal cerebellar tract in ventral spinal cerebellar cerebellar tract okay in previous two videos we discuss about lateral spinothalamic tract and anterior spinothalamic tract their origin their cause their what you call the function and what happens when there is a lesion okay their first order neuron their second order neuron and their third order neuron so like this we're going to discuss about this also the spinal cerebellar tract so remember the spinal cerebellar what you call ventral spinal cerebellar tract is also known as goer tract or it's also called as indirect spinal cerebellar tract okay or even it's called the anterior spinal cerebellar tract not spinothalamic tract remember anterior spinal cerebellar tract right guys so let's talk about this so if you talk about the location of this what you call this tract is situated in the lateral white column of the spinal cord along the lateral periphery it's situated on lateral white column of the spinal cord along the lateral periphery right so let's talk about their origin where they originate from so let me draw guys I'm not good at the drawing okay please bear with me oh my god what kind of spinal cord is this okay so the fibers the first order neurons are in the posterior root ganglia and receive the impulses of what you call proprioception okay from the proprioceptor receptors in the muscle tendon and the joints let me change the color first for first order neuron let me make a black right posterior this is posterior root ganglion prg posterior root ganglion right okay guys right and what what, what is the function of ventral spinal cerebral tract what what they carry they carry subconscious kinesthetic sensation subconscious kinesthetic sensation okay so fibers of this tract arise from the marginal nucleus as the fibers of what you call the lateral spinothalamic tract, right? They arise from marginal nucleus, right? And substantia gelatinosa of Rolando. So here the fibers arise from marginal nucleus in the posterior gray horn, okay? And the neurons of the marginal nucleus from the form the what you call second order neurons, okay? Let me draw the second order neurons, okay? So remember, remember, I would like to tell you one thing. These, what you call the ventral spinal cerebellar tract, they have both the crossed and the uncrossed fibers. Okay, remember, I will talk about this from the second order neurons onwards. Okay, so let me draw over here and show you. Right, so your second order neuron starts. Right, so let's talk about the course of this. The ventral spinal cerebral tract contains both, as I said, crossed and the uncrossed fibers. So majority of the fibers from the marginal nucleus over here, this is a marginal nucleus, okay? Marginal nucleus, right? MN, marginal nucleus, right? Okay, the marginal nucleus, that forms the second order, right? Um, 
the so the fibers from this majority of the fibers from this margin nucleus cross the midline and ascend in the lateral white column of the opposite side so you can see here they crossed on the same side okay and they are running on the lateral white column of the opposite side right and some of the fibers as i said they are uncrossed also right some of the fibers ascend in the lateral white column of the same side also okay and these nerve fibers ascend through the other spinal segments medulla pons and the midbrain so let's talk about the let me draw over here is the medulla okay medulla then we have pons okay and finally determinate what, what this is a cerebellum and this is superior cerebellar peduncle superior cerebellar peduncle and this is what the second order neuron ends at okay and from these fibers terminate in the cortex of the anterior lobe of the cerebellum this is a third order neuron what we are talking about so let me take different color okay this is the third order neuron third order neuron the green one is the second order neuron and the black one is the first order neuron okay so got it guys so these what you call ventral spinal cerebral tract they can they contain both cross and the uncross okay but the majority of the fibers from the marginal nucleus cross the midline and ascend in the lateral white column of the opposite side but some of the fibers ascend in the lateral white column of the same side also okay then where, where they end second order neuron ends at superior cerebellar peduncle and from the superior peduncle third order neuron starts and they end in the anterior lobe of the cerebellum anterior lobe of the anterior lobe of cerebellum there is what okay right guys now function as i said they carry impulse from subconscious kinesthetic sensation right here okay that is proprioceptive impulses from muscles tendon and the joints and impulses of what you call the subconscious kinesthetic sensation are also called as non-sensory impulses now tell me what happens when there is the effect of the lesion lesion of this tract leads to loss of subconscious kinesthetic sensation in the opposite side right guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care